Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we uh, changed the pump on this and uh, the carburetor struggles, so uh, I reckon it just needs a rebuilt kit, but uh, I thought I'd try a Chinese one. So, uh, I'm still going to rebuild the carb in this, also uh, order a kit for it, but uh, let's try a Chinese one to see how uh, that fares out, see how long this lasts. Kit comes with a few bits. New filters and a very cheap looking plug. Yeah, I probably won't put that in. I'll probably just yeah, keep watching it. <coughs> so let's get into it. Take off this uh, top cover first. got three pins but I'm missing a retaining uh, pit in there for that. We will take off the... So all this AV mount handle has all got come off to access the back of the carb. So uh, let's tackle that. One in it. And then another two at the bottom here. Then we just got to take the case off here to take the uh, linkages off the uh, throttle. So I'm free, and it will pull straight off. This bit falls out and goes flying, um, and then uh, we can pull this all off, and there's a linkage. And then you should be able to pull the sword out of it, like so. Because you need access to the screw here. Get all that off. Then this piece comes off then. Take the filter off. One long uh, Torx bit going straight through, and then you've got two 8mm bolts at the bottom. And the air filter housing should pull off. Put that to the side. You pull this, put the put the choke in the on position. This comes straight out there. It's a bit hard to get it 
from this side. And there, yeah, throttle linkage. And this is where you take the pipes off and fuel goes everywhere because I haven't tempted it. Let's have a look. That's not too bad. There we go. So there, anyway, this is still a decent carb. It's a Zama. Zama. So I'm still going to rebuild this. Uh, this is probably the original carb on it, so it'd be uh, worth saving, really. The, uh, the only thing with these as well, the uh, the high side isn't adjustable. Where the uh, one from China, you can adjust the high and the low. So let's uh, chuck that in. <clears throat> Gasket is a bit torn there, so we'll, uh, the kit does come with a new one, so we'll stick that on. It's torn quite bad there, isn't it? I'm just going to check these, I don't know, because these tend to slacken off when you start sucking in there. That's, that's good. What have we got here? That way. Let's get that back on. And then Pretty sure that went, I remember rightly, like that. Fuel feed on, and then the, uh... am I going wrong here? Yeah, wrong side. That one to that one. Cycle some uh, fuel through that before we uh, bolt up enough. It's not too bad. I was just concerned about the bubbles flowing by, but we'll try it. So this needs to line up in this gap here. With, uh, it'll be a pain once you build it back together and the, the chokes in the wrong place. Get the two eight mils back on. Seems good. Get this piece back on now.
So what I've got to do <coughs> got the Rona. Alright, get this handle back on. It's basically just the same in reverse. the bottom two uh, AV mounts. That's the wrong screw. And then, <coughs> and come round and get the linkage build up. And then the spring goes to the other side of that little notch right there. And then the uh, it's just called a dead man. Stop the trigger coming up. Get that bugger back in place. Lose my fitting. Literally just lost my torx bit. I wonder if it was a bad idea doing this outside instead on the uh, workbench. It can't be far. I imagine it got stuck in the uh, one of these, and then it's flung out as we've uh, flipped the sword over. Ah, there it is. Got it. Get the air cleaner back on. Better turn this thing down. Let's get the uh, top cover back on and we'll uh, give it a try. So what you're reckoning, will she go or will she no show? Let's try it.
she definitely runs better. Um, yeah, she definitely needs adjusting though. The uh, chain was still going round on idle there, so she needs turning down a bit. I think the uh, top end could be adjusted as well to get it uh, peaking a bit better. But yeah, two clean cuts now. You gotta remember this is only a, a domestic saw, this ain't a uh, professional saw. So, and it was a freebie, so it's not too bad. And, uh, oh yeah, I picked up a, uh, this little John boat for free. I've got a motor coming. Um, my twi twin cylinder air cool motor friend's got that's seized up and uh, make a nice video definitely yeah that'll be a video coming soon and then find some water to go out so yeah thanks for watching and uh, hope this helps and uh, see you next time